Hey everyone, welcome to another video by Python Poo. In this video, we are going to see a simple alarm clock GUI with Python. Let me show you the demo program. So this is our demo program in which you can enter the time in the 24 hour format. Let me say, let me say that if my time is 7.53 PM, I'm going to enter its time 53 and I'm going to get the same time. That's perfectly okay. It wouldn't matter. And I'm going to add some message. And once I submit, it will play a system sound. You could hear that this sound it will play to notify us. Okay. And it will notify us with the corresponding time, which I just gave in this entry box. So let's just def define this program. Let me go to a file. Let me name it as test.py. We're going to use tkinter module for that and simple time module. Okay. And after this, I'm just let's go to the hands-on project. First of all, import the required packages. Let's import tkinter as tk. After tkinter from tkinter import star and import some of more modules from tkinter like message box. So import message box. That's what we need today. And let's import another modules like OS. We need OS for the directories. We need time for the direct for checking the time and we need win sound for the sound for the no notification down sound will be playing. First of all, let's create the interpreter instance that is tk.tk. .tk. After creating this instance, let me terminate that instance by root.main loop. That's it. Let's give uh, our application some title. So root.title title, let me say simple alarm clock. That's our title, alarm clock itself. Let's give it a geometry. Let me set the geometry as 400 cross 150 because we don't want much of the stuffs inside our application. And after that, of course, we need a function for creating the widgets. Let me call this function. And after calling this function, I'll define it right away. So let me call it here and let's define this function. So def create widgets function. We need first label, first ent entry box. So two labels, two entry box, one submit button and one empty label, which we change according to our uh, submit function. So let's create first for label one. Uh, let me name it as label one and it is what it, it is what it is a label 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 to wear label to root should have a text let me give the text as enter the time enter the time in hh mm format that's it let's praise this by grid function so label one dot grid it should be in the first row first column itself and should have a pad x of 5 and pad y of 5 2 pad y of 5 2 that's it there now let's create the entry box let me know, name it as entry 1 and let me create this entry 1 as global because we'll be using it the text inside this globally okay we'll not be defining some text variable for that today we're gonna see another approach how could we use it globally so let me create that global entry one and let me define this entry one entry one equals to entry entry to where entry to root sorry entry to root should have a width let me give the width as 15 or 20 it's 15 it's okay okay and then entry one should have a grid entry one dot grid grid should be in the same row but in the next column so column should be the one okay Okay, that's it. Then again, we need another entry and label. Let's me, let me copy this one. Let me paste it. Let me change the names. This should be label two. Another uh, down also label two. And this should be enter the message you want to enter the message of alarm. So user will enter the message and it should be the next row. So row one here also row one. And it should be entry two, entry two, global, global entry two, and here also entry two, and that's it. Let's see how our programs look right now. Let me run it as Python test.py. Oh, so sorry for that. Okay, it looks perfectly fine. Now what we need, we need another submit button. That's it. And uh, 
empty label which would change according to the function so let's me create a button it's it is a button is a button button to wear button to root should have a text let me name the text as summit after the text what it should have a width of course let me give it as 10 and a command which is empty right now because we don't have any function for that one and let's place the grid for the this button so, but dot grid but dot grid okay grid should be it should be in this another row so row should be two and it should be the first column just below the entry box okay and now let's create that entry that's that would be also global because we'll be changing it into the function so let's create that label label 3 it is a label label to wear label to root text should be empty because it should change according to our needs and this should have a grade so label label 3 label 3 dot grade dot grade should be in the next row so row should be 4 sorry not 4 it's 3 and column should be 0 that would be good okay let's see how our window look right now okay now what we need to do we need to activate this submit button first of all I'll create a function on name as message one which will just need to which will just will be calling that function for creating the message box and all and updating the level labels so let me create a fun, another function message one okay and let me define the logic inside it, this function and how will be defining this logic that's pretty simple what we need to do we need to have this globally global variables and in this only we want entry one that's what we want and label three because we want text from the entry one and uh, label three we need to change that that's we want globally and in the alarm time alarm time label will be storing this entry one text so entry one dot get so that's that that declines us for the need of text variable we don't need that and after that we need to configure the label so label 3 dot configure and what we need to configure we need to configure the text and we need to set the text as the alarm is uh, this message one is there so I need to set the text as the alarm is counting this is the condition when you set the alarm and we also we will also define the condition when the alarm is being set uh, set and the alarm and the time reaches to the alarm time and it, sh it plays the notification sound we will be setting that one and after setting this label we need to call this message boss function and we need to show the info to the user that your alarm is set so it should have a title of alarm clock of course alarm clock is notifying you and the text should be that should be nothing but it should be the alarm alarm time is it is just a confirmation from the user and alarm time we have stored that in alarm time label so let's pass that here let's hit save now we'll be defining the submit function for the submit button so let's define the submit and name the function as submit itself and how are we defining the logic inside this First of all, we'll all we'll be calling all the global variables. That is entry one, entry two, sorry, it's two, and the label three. These three global variables which we declared, and we need alarm time, just as we ne uh, needed in our message function, okay? And this should be entry one dot get. So uh, alarm time is stored in this, and right after that, we need to once the user sets the alarm time. We need to call this message one function so it would notify the user that your alarm is being set. Okay, and now we need current time. So we need to compare our alarm time to the current time. And how are we calling that? We will calling that time function and strf time strf time function, and we will be getting hour and minute only because that's what we passing. So we need to get this and this alarm time when we get we need to print. We need also in the console also we'll be giving the alert to the user. So the alarm time is and how are we giving that? Once again the format you know I'm using Python 3 so that's the 
format of giving the text inside this print statement so not text variable inside this print statement and in this function it is stored in alarm time so just pass it there okay and after the console we need to check the condition so while while our current time while our alarm time sorry while alarm time is not equals to current time what we need to do current time if it is not equals to current time what we need to do we need to uh, call this current time once again we need to call this str time so we need to continuously fetch the current time from the time function until the um, alarm time is re being reached we need to call this function once again and again and continuously just up be updated with the current time and after how much time we need to call after every one second we need to call this function so after every second our time would need to be updated and if if our alarm time if our alarm time is equals to current time then our alarm condition is being reached and then we need to print we need to print the user we need to notify the user that we are playing we are playing alarm that we need to print the alarm uh, we are playing the alarm sound so we need to print the user for that one and after that what we need to do once again we need to call this win sound function and we need to play the sound so let's call this play sound function also okay and this play sound function what it will do it will play any sound present in the directory so all uh, will be giving star so it selects all the sound and uh, it will play with a specific property that is as a ascent sound asynchronous asynchronous this is the property with which it would be it's it's wind sound dot i'm sorry for that one it's wind sound dot okay asynchronously it will playing the sound and once again it will also configure the label so it will also configure the label text so label 3 dot config and config what config the text text uh, let me set as alarm sound playing okay sorry yeah it is it is pretty nice right alarm time is play, uh, playing and once again we need to set to give the message to the user so we'll be calling this message box dot show info function and we'll be giving alarm uh, alarm message so what message alarm uh, user passed we need to show that message to okay along with playing the alarm and we need to pass the user message here and how we'll be passing the message first of all we'll be using this format specifier and the message is and we'll be passing the variable name and in which we'll be storing the variable a uh, message okay we are not storing in any um, variable message we are not storing any in any variables that let's create a variable let me call it as alarm message alarm message let me get it from uh, that label 3 so label not level 3 it's entry 2 i'm so sorry for that one entry 2 dot get function so it will have this alarm message right here and we'll be passing there here so that is alarm message so let's be, let me pass it here let's hit save let's give the command to the submit button let's run our file let me pass it here our 88 is going on so it's 24 hour format it is 28 and let me just say test message let me submit it alarm time is counting okay it works perfectly fine so that's it from this video i hope you enjoyed this video have a great day ahead thank you